According to our research, all the introductions within the affordable electric car segment have already taken place, so it is time to release the 2020 Model Year Digest about the cheapest EVs. As usual, we'll be covering the most important specifications, including ranges, prices and performance parameters. Spoiler alert, Tesla Model 3 did not make the cut this year. Just imagine it, it is pricier than the 10 models we have discovered for you. Are you intrigued? If so, make sure to hit that subscribe button to always get notified about the next EV video. Enjoy the ride! Renault KCE This French automaker has been pretty successful with their electric lineup, which includes such bestsellers as Zoe Hatchback and Kangoo Minivan. In 2020, the company is adding a new mini-city car that offers crossover-like styling, race ground clearance of 5.9 inches, 10.6 cubic feet of cargo room, and enough passenger space for up to 5. Powered by a small 44-horsepower electric motor and a 26.8-kilowatt-hour battery, this model is built solely for the city driving, as it offers only 110 miles of rear-world range and cannot exceed 65 mph. The KC will be initially released only in China, but Renault says that it is a global vehicle, so likely we'll eventually see it on the European market. The model will be available in three modifications and will be manufactured in China in cooperation between Renault Nissan Mitsubishi Alliance and Dongfang. Volkswagen e up Gen 2 The debut of the second generation e up was overshadowed by all the media buzz that surrounds the new ID3. But in reality, it is an interesting model that served as one of the faces of the electric city commute for many years. Virtually unchanged on the outside, the newcomer becomes better where it truly really matters. The range goes up to 146 miles on a charge, while the price goes down to the attractive 22,000 euros before subsidies. In Germany, those can decrease the price to 18 grand. The powertrain was carried over from the previous generation. It is an 83 horsepower motor that can do 81 miles per hour and will get to 60 in 11.9 seconds. Among the standard features, we should point out the automatic air conditioning, a docking station, and an application that turns your smartphone into the infotainment display, DAB radio, Bluetooth, and a lane departure warning system. Renault Zoe when it comes to the looks, the bestseller EV from the French automaker has remained virtually unchanged since its initial introduction in 2012. But this model is still characterized by the constant innovations when it comes to the range and tech features. In 2020, yet another upgrade is coming, boosting the battery capacity to 52 kWh and improving the one charge distance to around 225 miles. However, the Zoe 50's reveal should be overlooked by the buyers who are looking for the most affordable compact electric mini. Instead, they ought to focus on the now starter model in the lineup that has 41 kWh battery, can cover 150 miles on a charge, and costs 28,500 euros if you choose to own the battery. But paying 21,500 instead and leasing it is a much smarter option. Skoda Citigo EIV and Seat Mi Electric Since both Skoda and Seat belong to the Volkswagen Group, the electric minis from these brands share their characteristics with the parent company's second-generation VW e-up. The city hatchbacks are brought to life by a single 83-horsepower electric motor with 156 pound-feet of torque channeled to the front wheels. Since the peak torque is rather high for the commuter of such a small size, 0-60 to 60 bursts take acceptable 12 seconds, and you won't fall far behind in the city traffic. The battery has 36.8 kWh capacity and should be good for 146 miles on a charge. You can replenish the range at 7 and 40 kWh rate, the latter one taking 1 hour to get from 0 to 80%. The final trimming of the models will be determined by the exacts at Skoda and Seat independently but they should be on par with the rest of the modern city cars. VW ID3 This electric hatchback is treated by Volkswagen as a true people's EV that should establish the company as one of the world's leaders in BV production. Their claims should be taken seriously as this newcomer indeed appeals to the wide number of drivers, finally offering a low-price entry-level electric car with appealing looks, decent range and features, as well as higher-end long-range variants with premium specs. Initially, a 58 kWh battery pack with 240 miles of range will go on sale, but later on two more configurations are to be introduced, 
a 185 miles 45 kWh and the 310 miles 77 kWh. The shortest range model will be priced under 30,000 euros and, unlike its competitors, should not suffer from the golf cart reputation. Built on the modular MEB platform, it is powered by a rear-mounted 204-horsepower motor with 229 pound-feet of torque, which is good for 100 miles per hour. Nissan Leaf Though the old Leaf had already proven to be one of the most popular EVs on the market, the arrival of the second-generation model in 2017 solidified its position, bringing the total global sales number to 400,000 units in 2019. The car is equipped with a 40 kWh battery and an e-motor generating 147 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. Among its standard tech, we should highlight automatic emergency braking, cruise control and very efficient regenerative braking. In addition, the car has an e-paddle function that allows you to accelerate and slow down using a single paddle. The hatch offers 150 miles of range according to the EPA test cycle, but there is also a more powerful 226 miles plus version. But if the standard beef should cost you around 30 grand or $22,490 after the tax credit, the 62 kWh Leaf Plus will set you back at least 36 or 30k respectively. As you might have noticed, year after year the ranges of EVs are going up, while the prices are in the downward direction. If you want to keep seeing this trend, make sure to promote the electric cars revolution by watching this episode till the end and sharing with your friends. Let's keep going! Hyundai Ionic Electric Though its sales are still restricted to California, the Ionic Electric is among the few affordable models that you can buy in the US, and in 2020, the three-year-old hatch arrives with a mid-cycle facelift. On the outside, the most noticeable changes are refreshed front and rear bumpers, a redesigned grille and new 16-inch alloys. However, more important are the model's powertrain updates. Instead of the old 28kWh battery, it features a 38kWh pack, which according to Hyundai should offer around 170 miles of EPA range. The motor makes 136 horses and 218 pound-feet of torque. Plus, the standard 6.6 kW onboard charger is now replaced by the 7.2 kW. On the inside, the styling revisions are rather subtle, unless you go for the optional 10.25 inch touchscreen with audio video navigation. Peugeot E208 Sharing its underpinnings with several other PSA models, such as Opel Corsa DS3 Crossback and the upcoming Peugeot E 2008, this all electric hatch sits on the brand's new generation common modular platform. The model is powered by a 136 horsepower electric motor that delivers 192 pound feet of torque and is being juiced by a 50 kWh battery. While it also feeds the cabin's heating and cooling system, the battery has been claimed to provide up to 188 miles on a charge according to the EPA test cycle. It offers three charging modes, needing half an hour to regain 80% capacity with a 100 kW public charger. The new E208 is available only in the top GT trim, so it comes with standard Alcantara upholstery, heated front seats, parking assistance, 10-inch infotainment and Peugeot's 3D i-cockpit instrument panel. With government incentives, its European pricing should start around 28,000 euros. Kia Soul Though visibly revised on the outside, the new generation Soul EV retained its funky looks, but entered the 2020 model year as a much more solid electric car. Undoubtedly, the major upgrade is the new 64 kWh battery that provides 243 miles of uninterrupted driving, more than doubling the results of the predecessor. The extra juice allowed to implement a more powerful front-mounted motor, which now makes 201 horses and 291 pound-feet of torque, covers 0 to 60 dashes in 7 seconds flat, and the speed governor is set at 105 miles per hour. Going back to the exterior, the SUV's most noticeable changes include a redesigned rear fascia, new LED headlights, and a front charging port on the driver's side. The EV is equipped with Kia DriveWise driver assist tech and new EVO telematics. Honda E The Slav Bull hatchback from Honda has been received rather favorably by critics and prospective buyers alike ever since its debut as a concept in 2017. Now it is finally production ready and set to start deliveries to the customers in summer of 2020. 
Instead of having just two doors, the Honda E becomes a four-door, but keeps a retro look inspired by the first-generation Civic. Unlike the prototype version, the final model gets 16 instead of 17-inch wheels as standard and its grille badge is no longer illuminated. The Super Mini accommodates four people and comes packed with high-tech features. It replaces the standard side mirrors with cameras to ensure better aerodynamics and adds a new central camera mirror system to improve the rear view. The car is powered by a 35.5 kWh battery that can be mated to a base 136 HP motor or a more powerful one making 154 HP. Mini Cooper SE The first ever electric Mini was unveiled in 2008 and basically was a conversion of the gasoline model. 600 units were built back then, but it took BMW more than a decade to greenlit the production car. It was named the SE, and by March 2020, it will be finally arriving to the dealerships. This electrified hatchback sports a new fascia, a rear bumper with no exhaust, bright yellow accents, and 17-inch asymmetric design alloy wheels. The SE adopts the drivetrain from the BMW i3, featuring a 184 HP electric motor that makes 199 pound-feet of torque and a 32.6 kWh battery, which unfortunately provides underwhelming by the current standards 130 miles of range. The pack is located under the vehicle's floor, without compromising on the cargo capacity of 8.7 cubic feet. Three trims are available, Signature, Signature Plus and Iconic, which offer exclusive wheels, upholstery, exterior and interior finish. Many of these electric cars are targeting European and Asian markets only, so it looks like the fans of affordable EVs might want to consider a location. Let us know what you think about this lineup in the comment section. Should we all drive Teslas, because these ranges are too low and specifications not worth the money? Watch other episodes of Automotive Territory and subscribe. May the torque be with you!